Hi guys, so today I'm here with a new video for you and today I'm going to be hauling all the stuff I picked up from Sephora's VIB 20% off sale. I have this little box right here so we're just going to kind of unload it. There is quite a bit of product in here even though the box is small so let's jump right into it. So the first thing I picked up from the sale was this Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. Now I've heard this raved about here on YouTube but I've never picked one up because it is a little pricey but since they were having a sale I figured why not. So I went ahead and grabbed one and oh my god. It smells like a fresh bouquet of roses and it is so moisturizing. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. So lately I've been working on my eyebrows trying to get them on point and I needed to pick up something that was really going to help me fill them in and still make them look natural. So I picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color medium ash slash medium brown. I am loving this. I put this on my makeup this morning before I filmed this video and I think it looks so good. It helped fill them in without making them look too overly drawn and it goes on really light but you can also apply it with a heavier hand and it comes with a little spoolie on one end of the brush that you can kind of blend everything out which I really like. It is a little pricey but obviously since Sephora was having the sale it was kind of like a why not kind of purchase. The next thing I picked up is this Murad Post Acne Spot Lightning Gel. Now I heard about this from Chow Bella. Her name is Meg here on YouTube and the reason I got this is because she absolutely raved about it. She suffered with acne and so she has some scarring left over from when she did have it and I as well have suffered from acne pretty much my entire life and even though it's pretty almost gone now I occasionally get the occasional like cystic pimple or just regular pimple and for some reason once my pimples go away they always leave a dark spot or some type of hyperpigmentation which I absolutely hate so this is supposed to be great at lightening those spots and I'm really excited to try it out. So this next product is something that has been raved about on YouTube here for probably years now and I don't know why I never jumped on this bandwagon I just kind of was like yeah it's a $40 foundation I don't know that I really need it and it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Now I am kind of kicking myself in the butt for not buying this sooner because it is seriously amazing, you guys. It is worth every single penny. I love drugstore foundations. The Revlon Color Stay Whipped is probably my absolute favorite. However, I do find myself constantly touching that up and it does make me oily by the end of the day. This, I seriously put on at like 6 o'clock in the morning and one day I actually wore my makeup to bed. I know that's horrible, but I did it. And the next morning my makeup was still perfect. I wasn't oily at all. It gave a gorgeous finish, really great coverage without being too heavy, and it's just... Ugh, it's so blendable and just absolutely amazing. Now with my Estee Lauder Double Wear, I've also been wearing the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is a new product and it is, again, absolutely amazing. I picked up another one. This is actually my second or third bottle of it. It is a primer for your foundation and I used to not really think primers did anything. And let me tell you, I tried my Double Wear foundation by itself and it stayed really well and it was awesome. However, it did not last nearly as long when I did not use it in conjunction with this primer. And even if you want to wear this by your by itself, you can, I've done that as well. It gives your face like a much smoother finish. It kind of helps hide any redness and it just gives such an even tone to your entire face. I highly recommend it. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I absolutely love the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. And so from the sale, I actually wound up picking up this little kit, and it is called the Fresh Sweet Nudes Kit. It is valued at $56 and retails for $36. And in here you get a Fresh Sugar Lip Polish, the Original Formula Lip Balm, a Honey Tinted One, a Rose Tinted One, and also a Petal Tinted One. Now the reason I picked this up is because although I love Fresh, I do not like the darker colors in their lip balms. I think they're a little bit too pigmented and they, they're really hard to apply without making like letting them smear all over your lips. It's kind of a little bit of a mess. But these colors are really easy to blend, they stay well, and they're neutral enough that even if they smear a little bit, you can't notice. And I also picked up two of these because one of them will be featured in a giveaway that I'm going to have coming up in the next few weeks here. So stay Stay tuned for that. So lately with being pregnant and the winter here, it has just kind of been killing my skin. I've been so, so dry and it's just driving me nuts. So I'm up picking up this Josie Marin Argan Oil Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. I've heard Jaclyn Hill talk about this a bunch here on YouTube and she swears by it. She has really dry skin and she absolutely raves about this product. It comes in a really cute bottle. Let me show you guys because I just think it's adorable and I love the name milk. It just sounds like, I don't know, it's cute. Um, but it comes in this cute little bottle and it has this little copper band with the little pump um, dropper and it smells actually really nice. It is made with argan oil obviously and you only need about three to five drops to moisturize your entire face which I think is really nice and the packaging I just I'm obsessed with the packaging on this. So the last thing I picked up from the sale was this Peter Thomas Roth mini mask magic kit. This retails for $20 and inside you get three little mini masks. The first one is the Cucumber Gel Mask. This is an extreme detoxifying hydrator. I've never tried this one, but I've heard great things about it, and I love detox masks. I just think they're amazing. And then also in this kit, you get a Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. 
Nicole Guerrero bought one of these in the full size and she said it is absolutely amazing so I'm excited to try it. And then last up is one that I am obsessed with but for some reason they don't sell it in full size anymore and I don't know why. Um, so I basically bought this whole kit just for this tiny little pumpkin one and it is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask Enzymatic Dermal Resurfacer. This is a great exfoliating mask and obviously it smells like pumpkin so it smells absolutely delicious and uh, I'm seriously I've never smelt anything like it. It smells like Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. Oh, it's just so yummy. Um, now this whole kit cost $20, which I'm a little disappointed because I expected these little guys to be bigger. I mean, not much bigger, obviously, because it's only $20 and Peter Thomas Roth are expensive products, but mm, they could be a little bit bigger for the price. So if you want to pick this up, I would say maybe just splurge and go like get samples from Sephora of the ones that you want to try and then buy the full size. I think it might be a better value. I did also find out last night that there is another kit with the same three masks in bigger size for like $40. So I think I might actually return this and get that instead. That is everything I picked up in the Sephora 20% off sale. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I got. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! This Sally Hansen Salon Manicure Cuticle Balm Eraser has been like my savior. I use this all the time, especially during me time. I'll just kind of like slather it on my cuticles and let it sit there for a while. Definitely pick this up as a drugstore product. Super inexpensive, super affordable, but it does wonders for your cuticles. Right now my favorite nail polish is actually what I'm wearing on my nails today and that is Ruby Dew by Sally Hansen. It comes in a bottle that looks like this. I'm a spaz when it comes to painting my nails. I don't know why. It just, it takes me like 50,000 tries to get it right and I will put on a coat and then take it off with nail polish remover and literally a day later even after I've tried 50 times to get it right it'll chip off. I just have the worst luck when it comes to nail polish. However I do find that the Sally Hansen one is really easy for me to apply and does last a lot longer than my other brands that I do have. So this is kind of embarrassing to admit, however, since I am pregnant, it has just been kind of a free-for-all on food, especially during me time. I am hungry pretty much 24-7, and luckily I've been fortunate enough to not have gained any weight since I've been pregnant. I'm about five months right now, um, but I love to eat, and if you're pregnant, hopefully you know what I mean so I don't feel so bad about it, <laughs> but some of my favorite snacks are anything spicy lately. I've been loving spice, um, hot wings. Buffalo flavored pretzels, if you ever see them, they're delicious. Definitely pick those up. And popcorn is like one of my all-time favorite snacks. I seriously buy like a giant box of this from Costco or I'll try to go to Target and pick it up. And I eat probably, probably like a bag every other day. It's, it's really bad that I do that, but it's so delicious. And the salt, I just, I can't get enough salt. And then for my sweet tooth, I seriously have been like a Reese's peanut butter cup fiend. They're just delicious and they're like the perfect combination of like salty peanut butter with sweet chocolate and they're just, oh, they're so good. And as you can see, I've already obviously eaten all of these ones, so. I love candles. I am a total candle freak. Um, right now I have been loving my vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle from Bath and Body Works. It just smells like pumpkin heaven to me. I'm actually really excited because Bath and Body Works just came out with their um, winter line of candles and one of my favorites has been brought back which is the winter candy apple. Winter candy apple. I am a total candle fiend and right now I have been loving my vanilla pumpkin marshmallow candle. It looks like this and it just smells like pumpkin heaven like oh it smells so so good I seriously this is my third one that I've burned through I burn them at home and at my office so I do go through them rather quickly um the other cool thing is that Bath and Body Works just came out with their winter line of candles and one of my favorite all-time scents has been brought back which is the winter candy apple definitely go smell that if you're in Bath and Body Works you will absolutely love it I promise yeah so if you don't know me, you know that I pretty much do not like being outside. I think it's dirty and just gross and I usually do not enjoy it. I will occasionally have me time outside if I'll go like sit on our deck and look over our pond. We have a giant koi pond with tons of fish and I like watching the frogs. We have like 10 frogs in there. Um, but for the most part, no, me time is enjoyed like in a bathtub or on the couch or in my big fluffy bed. Really?
I would probably never go see a movie alone. And I know that sounds bad. I just, I feel, I would feel embarrassed, I think. Like, I just don't want to be alone. I'd totally watch a movie at home by myself. I watch movies at home by myself all the time. But like going to a movie theater, I like to have someone with me. I'm just, I'm kind of needy like that, I guess. Okay, so small confession. Well, it's kind of a big confession. I have a huge shopping addiction. I love online shopping. To me, it's like you online shop and days later things start showing up at your door and it's like you get presents to yourself from yourself. It's just like Christmas every day. It's amazing. I love it. So I've always loved Hot Look mainly because of their beauty products. They do a lot of flash sales for beauty products. They also do clothing. They do stuff for kids, for men, for your home. They do everything. Um, but recently I've actually been loving Zulily, uh, mainly because they do a ton of baby stuff. So I've been buying a ton of stuff for Mia, trying to stock up on clothes for her because every three months she's going to need an entirely new wardrobe. So I'm definitely trying to kind of get things as I can and put them all in a pile and set them aside for her. The only other thing I really do during me time is I binge pin. Now you're probably like, what the heck is that? And I love Pinterest. If you have a Pinterest, thumbs up this video because I absolutely love it. You can find recipes on there, hair and makeup ideas, clothing ideas, DIY projects. It's so much fun. And so when I'm home alone and I don't really have anything to do, I will seriously just sit there and pin the crap out of Pinterest. Like I have 3000 pins on my Pinterest, I think. It's kind of insane and I'm a little addicted. I'm not gonna lie, but I just love it. I do. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time.